My name is Dr Maggie Adairin Haycock and I'm a space scientist, a science communicator and an author. When I was a child I decided I wanted to be a scientist and I wanted to be a space scientist because I wanted to discover all the amazing things out there. When I was writing my book I wanted young readers to get excited about space. As a scientist, a space scientist, we're discovering so many amazing things out there in our solar system. And I wanted to convey that to others and show them that there are things that we still need to discover. As a child, because I suffer from dyslexia, I didn't like reading much. But I remember reading the book Heidi and it made me realise that books have the power of imagination. By reading the book, I created my own Heidi in her own environment and then I was hooked and I became a bookworm. Through my life, I think I've been very lucky because many of my crazy dreams have come true. My craziest dream is to actually one day get into space. But a few years ago, I decided I wanted to go out and speak to school kids and encourage them to become scientists like me. And when I started doing this, I had a huge response. And over the past 13 years, I think I've seen about 350,000 kids. So now I feel that my greatest achievement is actually going out and speaking to so many people about science. If I was asked to describe my book in three words, I find it quite difficult. But I think, uh, I'd say dream, because it's my dream come true, it's all about space and it's definitely an adventure. As a space scientist, um, over many years, I've learned lots and lots of different facts and figures about space. But there are a few things that just blow my mind. Each star we see in the night sky is a solar system like ours, and they have planets orbiting their stars. We call them exoplanets. And it turns out that our galaxy, we thought it had 200 billion stars, but it actually has 300 billion stars in our galaxy. So that's potentially 300 billion solar systems. But on top of that, we've also now discovered that in the whole of the universe, there are about 100 billion galaxies. Now, when I think of how many stars that means and how many planets that means, I get a slight headache, but I think it's a mind-blowing fact. 